Today, the Committee of Ministers adopted the new Council of Europe strategy on the rights of the child for 2012-2015. What is new in this strategy? And how do you think it will contribute to improve the lives of the 150 million children in Europe? I think the adoption of the uh, strategy, the new strategy, is uh, really a, a new stage in, in our construction work. We are building a Europe for and with children. So uh, it's the next phase. And uh, what is very uh, good about this new strategy is that it is a continuation of the previous strategy. And what we have done in the past is that we have identified really the, the root causes of the many violations of children's rights. Uh, we have identified the causes, but we have al also developed the tools uh, to, to fill the gaps in terms of legislation, uh, administra administrative uh, practices, uh, policies uh, in our member states. And so these tools now must be put to work. Uh, and therefore, uh, what we are talking about in this uh, new strategy is really uh, how to implement uh, uh, the, uh, the, the, the everything which we have done in the past. We really uh, must uh, come now to a point where, we, where, we, where children will feel the difference. Uh, we have set the standards, but we have to go from general principles now to, to more uh, specific contexts in which children uh, feel that what we our work has uh, has a real meaning, and uh, we must also, of course, uh, give uh, uh, governments uh, when they uh, express the, uh, the wish to to do the, to have that uh, uh, help them in create the, the in creating the capacities to meet uh, these uh, various demands and. Uh, uh, they, they are facing obstacles uh, in terms of legislation and policies and we are there to help them with this new strategy. We have identified basically uh, for this purpose four priority areas. Um, the first priority area is the uh, child friendly services area. Um, children are come in contact, uh, contact with, uh, 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 with services, social services, uh, judicial services, um, uh, health care, education, um, but not necessarily all these services are really adjusted and adapted to the needs of children and they should become really more responsive to these needs. And um, in other words, they, they should be more child friendly and um, this is all the more, t more important now when we are uh, all in an e economic financial crisis. The second area, it's a continuation of the previous strategy, is that we must do everything we have, uh, uh, we, we can uh, in, a, in our power uh, to combat violence against children. It exists in many for forms and uh, none of these forms of violence is acceptable whether we're talking about sexual violence, gender-based violence, corporal punishment, uh, violence in the cyberspace, violence at schools, all these forms of violence we have to address and combat. We also, and that's the third area, we have to uh, attach particular attention to uh, vulnerable, vulnerable children, children of minority groups, uh, children, Roma children. Um, instead of uh, stigmatizing these children even more uh, by reference to their uh, particular status, we must address them with more, uh, more attention because they need really more than anyone else our, our, con our con attention and concern. And the fourth area is the area of participation. We want uh, to involve children in the design of our projects, our, our, our the implementation policies, and we must listen to them. We must give them a voice uh, as much as we want to give them a voice in, uh, at national level. We also actually want to do that in the Council of Europe in our own work, uh, working methods. It's very important to insist on the participation of children themselves in the design of the various strategies. In your opinion, what are the challenges of member states in protecting children's rights and what will this strategy change? Well, uh, I think there are two main challenges for our member states. Uh, the first thing is that um, there's a considerable lack of reliable data uh, on the actual situation of, uh, of children in the countries we work with. 
So uh, under the new strategy, we will we intend to make more use of the existing monitoring mechanisms we have in the Council of Europe. And on the basis of the, these uh, mechanisms, I hope we can uh, collect more data um, in order to also to, to adjust our, our responses. And um, I can think of uh, issues like um, questions uh, concerning the access to, to schooling for minority uh, groups. Um, the other question which uh, we want to go deeper into is uh, to what extent uh, juvenile uh, offenders uh, are provided with uh, appropriate uh, support to, to reintegrate into society. Um, very much uh, concern, we, ha we have a lot of concern about the uh, discrimination of Roma children and what we can do uh, effectively to combat this discrimination. There we need also much more information. Um, we need to find out whether uh, children, victims of sexual violence, are given the necessary support. Um, so a lot of uh, data uh, are needed to in order to um, adjust our, our, our action. And also uh, member states uh, need to be provided at their request, of course, uh, with tailor-made support. Um, uh, whenever, for instance, they review the legislation, um, uh, we want to give advice uh, how to redraft it. Uh, we can provide a forum for exchange of good practices uh, um, in which exist. Fortunately, they are also very positive. Uh, uh, there's also very positive information to share. Uh, we can provide training training to professionals who are in contact with children. It may all sound very ambitious to you, but um, of course we are not on our own in implementing these strategies. We are very happy that we can count on our partners uh, in the member states, on other international organizations, European Union, UNICEF, uh, and other international organizations. Um, ombudsmen for children are also very important partners for us and NGOs, uh, we need them also to, to, to make progress. Um, but we're very enthusiastic, actually. We can't wait to start. <laughs>